What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Juice Bundles. We back again, and this is the sound of hip-hop. You should know about Finna have LA County on fire Got the whole hood showing out A new concept Peep the process I'ma break it down And put it in proper context Get a seven foot map With your set on it Red or blue It don't matter You can flex on it Long Beach Compton and Watts LA Inglewood Every single block Might catch a view With your local barbershop Hang it up at the crib And you getting props Collect this item For the chosen few Go ahead and buy you one For the culture Like you supposed to do If you new to the town You need a good map I got one better Get you a hood map Guarantee you it's worth it Hoodmapsllc.com For the purchase Juice Bundles, and we back again, The Sound of Hip Hop, the podcast where we improve in the culture one episode at a time. Anyway, this is the first episode of the Tears of Rap. I gave y'all the intro episode, now I'm here to introduce the first actual episode. For those who, who don't know what this is or didn't see the intro episode, just give a little explanation. The Tears of Rap is where we take every single rapper and we judge them and put them on a tier according to their bar-for-bar bar performance slash skills. We don't care about their songs. We don't care about anything else. We are putting them on a tier only according to their bar-for-bar bar performance. The reason why I like to do that is because a lot of people say certain things are subjective. A lot of people say crazy stuff when comparing rappers. I believe that this will help not only just me, but everybody who watched this compare rappers if you have the same opinion as mine, which you should because I really thought this stuff out and listen to all the music. So with that being said, the first rapper, and everybody gets their own episode, so the first rapper that I'm going to do for the first episode, I'm going to just introduce him. He's born and raised in Harlem as well raised in Baltimore. He moved to Cali when he was about 17, 18, you know what I mean? Well-respected amongst his peers, over 75 million sold, renowned actor. Give it up for my man, Tupac. We're going we gonna to do Tupac today, you know what I mean, as far as the tears of rap go. So with that being said, I had to do Tupac as, as far as for my first episode because I wanted to give everybody a rapper that they could really relate to and, like, is well-known so you know where I'm going with this. So I want to just say, like, what kind of got me into Tupac, I was about, like, I want to say, like, eight, nine years old when I really got into him. You know what I mean? My mom's was playing him in the house. You know, she she plays a lot of, like, you know, R&B. I heard a lot of Mary J. Blige and, and uh, Mariah Carey on them Saturday mornings, you know what I mean, while she cleaning the house and stuff. But she would play him, too. And she really got me into him, you know what I mean? I loved him as a kid. My favorite albums by him, my favorite album by him is Machiavelli, but Me Against the World, Machiavelli, and All Eyes on Me are my favorite projects by him. I think that's when, that was his career highs. You, you get what I'm saying? Tupacalypse Now, Strictly for My Niggas, you know, they were cool, but I believe that his career highs were those three albums. So with that being said, now I want to get into, you know, certain things and to actually put him on a tier. And again, I just want to repeat this for everybody. This is about, and for everybody, this is about his bar-for-bar bar performance, his bar-for-bar bar skill. Now, we would know what skills are when you incorporate, you know, onomatopoeias, entendres, you know, punchlines, similes, metaphors, you know, the delivery in which you do it in, your you know, your ability to be able to ride the beat, diversity, and so on. Like, you know, that stuff takes skill to do when making your songs or whenever you spit in your verses or whatever. So with that being said, I would say the things that I think that are just his strengths as, as 
why people like him is uh I would say that, you know, he has a lot of power behind his voice. You know what I mean? You hear the power and the struggle when you hear his rhymes. You get what I'm saying? I believe that as far as especially with our community or with our culture, with black people, his topics are very relatable. You know what I mean? They're very very relatable, and you really feel what he says. You get what I'm saying? He's got a lot of force behind that. You really feel what he says when he's saying the things he's saying. Plus, you know what I mean? I think that everybody likes the fact that he's the man. You get what I'm saying? Like, when Pac's time was here and he was in the rap game, you know, a lot of people were doing their thing. I even see that, you know, Biggie sold more than him. But really, he was the man in the rap game. He was the one that all the women liked and stuff like that. And I really do think that he had a he had a pretty above decent beat selection and his flow was was very mag his flow was like no other. I, I, I was about to say um say the word, but it just slipped my mind right now. But his flow was like no other. You get what I'm saying? And the certain things that he did with his flow and with his voice, like, you know, was just original and very signature. Like and y'all know what I'm talking about. Like when he'll say something like Go you see me? Like, you know what I mean? You know that that is Pac. And anybody trying to do that, you know that that's where they got it from. Magnetic was the word I was about to say. Everything he was doing, like, that's that's what, that's what his strengths were when it came to him. And that's why he made a lot of good songs because he was able to use all of that and put them on a record and make them very relatable which is the reason why the reason why I think most people like Tupac and most people put him on such high regard. Now with that being said, now we're going to get into, you know, certain elements that I use and um certain elements that make people better rappers. You get what I'm saying? Than other people. So, I want to use this stuff and compare him and give him a fair grade or put him on a tier. So with that being said, uh, when I really get into his skill and, you know, what he was able to do, I do agree. He had a nice flow. You get what I'm saying? He had a nice flow, and he was very diverse with his topics. A lot of times he talked about two things, basically the streets and the struggle, but he had other times where he talked about topics, and he really, you know, touched on those. But I wouldn't say that he really did them from a super lyrical standpoint. You know, he he did them from a message or song standpoint. And in my opinion, it's not really like what makes you better than somebody or makes you a great MC. It's not really what you talk about, but how you talk about it. You know what I mean? And if I get into the elements of those things, you get what I'm saying? Like, like I, I don't know if I listened to them before, but, uh, you know, the punchlines, metaphors, you know, those type of things, and when I really look at what he does in his rhymes, he doesn't really use a lot of skilled things to make his songs. You get what I'm saying? He just directly tells you what's on his mind or directly gives you the message. You know what I mean? He uses punchlines, you know, stuff like I'm in and out just like a robbery, but is that really, like, complex? Is that really, like... Would a dope MC say that? You get what I'm saying? Like, not saying they wouldn't, but I'm saying that wouldn't be like trying to be the highlight of their verse or whatever. So when I took all these things into consideration, what I noticed about Tupac, like the first thing I'm going to say, he doesn't really use those elements as far as the skill to make to make his music or to make his verses. Uh, one, one big thing, in my opinion, is... When you, uh, that I judge on, I would say, is your ability to either win in beef, like what is your records in beef, and like when you get on tracks with like elite rappers, you know, where do you stand, you know what I mean? And I really went back, I listened to all five albums, you know what I mean? And uh, what I noticed was that when he did, Go with the elite, you know, he failed. You get what I'm saying? So I'm going to give this example first. If you really listen to a lot of his music, the songs 
the oh, I'm sorry, not the songs. The artists that he mostly did music with, you know, are you know some few West Coast artists, but he mostly did music with people from the Bay Area and the Outlaws. You get what I'm saying? You know, Big Psych and you know Richie Rich and you know the Outlaws. You know what I mean? None of those guys are really like elite artists, not even considered elite. You get what I'm saying? But I noticed when he did certain things, and I remember he did a song on All Eyes on Me. It's called Got My Mind Made Up. It got Daz or whatever. It got somebody else too, but it has Method Man and Red Man, and he could not stand next to those dudes. And those, I would I would say that most people, especially for old school hip hop, most people consider those people, you know, lyricists or or MCs. You know what I mean? He has a song called Last Words. Um, it's on Strictly for My Niggas. And, you know, he 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 wiped Ice Cube out the water, but I would say that him and Ice T's verse were neck and neck. Get what I'm saying? I I, I actually kind of liked it Ice T's verse a little better. I was very surprised, and to be neck and neck on your own song with Ice T, nothing against Ice T personally, and not to say that he doesn't make good music, but as far as is he amongst the elite, or you, you get what I'm saying? Like he is he didn't really do anything with that. You get what I'm saying? Like. If people would have said Ice T had a better verse, I don't think they would have been wrong. You know what I mean? I'm not to, but if they would have said Pac had a better verse, I'm not to say that they would have been wrong either. But it's just like to come that close with Ice T, or to be beaten by Ice T, and to for me to try to say you like as far as the skill goes. Again, this is based off bar for bar skill. As far as the skill goes, you know what I mean? I couldn't really say that about you, you know what I mean, especially when compared to other artists. Now, another thing is when you really listen to Tupac, he has a lot of fill-in words in his rhymes, you know what I mean? You know, excuse my language, but if you listen to his rhymes, he might say motherfucker, you know, three times in a song. You get what I'm saying? Like, and a lot of times, a lot of people don't look at this motherfucker and when he say punk bitch and I'm a boss player like those are just to fill in syllables and he says them a lot he says the same ones and they're really just to fill in syllables to get across what he's trying to say most elite rappers as far as like MCs or lyricists a lot of them don't even really like to curse unless they're you know displaying emotion and a lot of them don't even like to use the same word twice in one song because it kind of, it's kind of limited as far as the skill factor goes. Now, so with that being said, and I took all of that in consideration, you know, I like Tupac. When I was a kid, he was my favorite rapper up until he died. So with that being said, if I had to give Tupac a tear, remember these tears again now, tier one is the higher ups. Tier two is the noticed talent, but the noticed MCs. They might be the mainstream noticed MCs. Tier three is the last call for MCs. Tier four is where mediocrity lives, slash where the stars live. Tier five is the below average channel, meaning your lyrics are, you know, basically subpar as far as bar for bar performance. Tier six is just straight garbage or like, you know, gimmick island type stuff. And the, and the tier seven is for the special people that, you know, been, not been writing their rhymes. So with all that being said, in my opinion, because it's just my opinion, I will have to put Pac as a tier four as a tier four rapper. I couldn't really be right and call him a lyricist. Now he now he's a little better than mediocre, but I couldn't say like he's a true MC. You know what I mean? I just I, I just couldn't say that. Yeah, I really just couldn't say that because um like I said, like the example I gave up before, and I wanted to save this because remember I said, uh, what is your record in beefs? If you really notice, you know, nobody really answered him back except for Mob D. And even when they answered him back, you know what I mean? They didn't really even put his name in there. But like it was more or less Nas. He did he never answered him back. Biggie, he kinda answered him back, but it was so hidden that if you weren't 
I didn't even really know Biggie answered him back until I was grown. You get what I'm saying? But he didn't really have any, like, you know, like a Jada and Beans. Like, he didn't have that. You feel me? And even though those people didn't answer it back, you could declare Pac a, a winner. I, I would say that. You could declare Pac a winner. But when somebody like Nas didn't answer him back, you could say, yeah, Tupac won, but you don't really know what would have happened. Like, it still leaves that that factor there. You get what I'm saying? And if you really look at when he dissed people, you know, they were more scared of his power and his force and his fans, especially to strengthen his voice. I don't really think they were scared of him lyrically. You know what I mean? If you really listen to Hit Him Up, it wasn't really nothing like that he said that was like lyrically crushing. You know, even when he said the things he said about Mob Deep, he said, you know, he basically told you, you know, he's a dancer and he has sickle cell. But like when he did it, was it on that level? You get what I'm saying? Like, was it on that level? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm just trying to put it there and, like, give you a good explanation for why I gave it to him. Me personally, uh, me personally, I love Tupac. You know what I mean? When I was doing this and I went back and listened to his five albums, I actually, like, he brought me back to some old times. I even had a tear come down my eye. But as far as, like, you know, just just reminiscing on memories and, how I used to love him and just memories in my life. But when I really went back and listened to the bar for bar skill, I couldn't say it was MC level slash or like lyricist level. I, I could not do that. You know what I mean? So with that being said, this is the first tiers of rap. I gave Pac a tier four rapper, meaning you know, more media, like, I wouldn't say his rhymes are trash. I wouldn't say his rhymes are, like, MC lyricist level. But what I will say is I really like Pac for his songs. His so his complete project of a song or complete projects of an album. And one thing I will say about Pac, at least, at least you can say this, for the time he was alive, I don't really count the stuff when he was dead because he – you don't even know if he would have ever put that out. He just made the music. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I only count from Tupacalypse Now until Machiavelli. And every single album got better. Every single album. I think that Machiavelli is his best album. You get what I'm saying? Favorite song from Tupac is called Blasphemy. You get what I'm saying? So like I said, when it comes to that, his songs and, you know, I feel him more than I think he's talented. If you if you understand what that means. So with that being said, this is what I feel. You know what I mean? This is the tier I put him on as far as his bar for bar performance. You know what I mean? Let me know in the uh let me know in the comments section if you feel that I did a good job. Just remember what I'm saying though, guys, because I'm not talking about him as an artist. I'm talking about his bar for bar skill, the skills that he uses when delivering, you know his rhymes. You get what I'm saying? So with that being said, let me know in the comments section what y'all think. You know what I mean? Please, please like the video. Even if you don't like the video, just because the word like you heard it, push the like button anyway. And please subscribe to the channel. I need a thousand subscribers and share the video so that everybody could see how I'm analyzing these artists. So with that being said, it's your boy Juice Bundles. My man Tupac, love Tupac to death, gave him a tier four. He's a tier four rapper, in my opinion. It's the sound of hip-hop, and we out of here.